Hey, how's it going everyone? Just back in with another sequence video. So I uh, found this one based on a comment that a subscriber left and um, got me to read, you know, Job 18 again. And then I found the sequence here. So a servant of Jesus said, I read the book of Job today and I had a long pause at chapter 18, particularly verse six, because it reminded me of Revelation 18, 23. But all of chapter 18 is interesting regarding this. Um, the entire chapter has a feel of the mark of the beast to me. And so I want you to know if you don't already from my channel, um, or you've learned probably from somebody else, Russian vids or whatever, but 18 and code 666. And so Revelation 18, 23, two times three is six, um, does indeed reference the mark of the beast. And so, um, you know, that's good, you know, that you're, um, that you've got that vibe. And so, um, because it references sorceries, which is, um, pharmacia. And so, which is the term that we use now for pharmacy. And so Revelation 18, 23, again, 23 is two times three is six. And so this gives us a clue that this is six, 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 six. And so this is another element of, um, he that have wisdom count the number of the beast and the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee for thy merchants were the great men of the earth. This is referring to America for by thy sorceries, which is pharmacia, were all nations deceived. And so this is why America is pushing out, you know, this, these sorceries, which is the pharmacy, which is drugs, poison. And then that's the mark of the beast. And we know what it is now. And so, you know, you're, you're correct. And so just know 18, Job 18 is a good one to focus on. And I should have been aware of this when I read it, you know, one of the times prior to kind of perk up a bit and be like, well, this is it the 18th chapter. So it may have something related to 666 or the mark of the beast. And it does, I would say fairly explicitly. So, you know, but this is a good find, you know, I appreciate the heads up. So any book with a chapter 18, I start to, you know, really look at it, you know, for the sequence. And so, um, your intuition was correct. It was good. Revelation 18, uh, sorry, Job 18 too. How long will it be ere ye make an end of words? And so this is referring to the end. And in Matthew 24, 13, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And so uh, this is now a reference to the end and then there's salvation, okay? And so this is our first coded reference to salvation. Next, Mark and afterwards we will speak. So now they have the term, the word Mark. Verse three, wherefore are we counted as beasts? Okay, and reputed vile in your sight. So now we have a reference to beast and then in prior one we have Mark. So we have a reference to the Mark of the beast. And so, so we have the end, which talks about salvation, reference links up to salvation. Then we have the reference to the mark of the beast, which in this great tribulation period is not gonna be recommended. It's gonna be required. It's gonna be a life or death decision. And then um, in verse four, now we're gonna talk about Christ returning with his elect to destroy all those people that have taken that. So um, verse four, he, he teareth himself in his anger. Shall the earth be forsaken for thee? And shall the rock be removed out of his place? Verse five, yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out and the spark of his fire shall not shine. Okay. Uh, verse six, the light shall be dark in his tabernacle. And so this is also referring to just the fact that this is now destruction. Okay. And so God's essentially turning out the lights, you know, of this entire earth. And his candle shall be put out with him. Okay. And that's in verse six. So six oftentimes, not every single time, obviously, but we'll refer to like deception and destruction. And so um that's what's happening verse 10 the snare is laid for him in the ground and a trap for him in the way verse 11 terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet and so this is coming from from above you know and so terror shall make him afraid on every side and we're going to find out who's doing this it's god verse 12 his strength shall be hunger bitten and destruction shall be ready at his side listen to this verse 13 it shall devour the strength of his skin and so that's consistent with Second um, Peter and Zechariah 14. It's Second Peter 3.10, But the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And uh, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Okay, so this is real fire. Zechariah 14.12, And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. So he's going to burn them with fire and their eyes shall consume away in their holes and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Okay, so this is Christ returning with his, like this is Zechariah 14, which is short for 144 and verse 12. Okay, which is 6-6. Okay, so this is everybody with the mark of the beast, God's left-hand side. 
whether they've physically taken the mark or they're, you know, they have this spiritual mark in their mind. And so I'll read verse 13 again. It shall devour the strength of his skin. Okay, and so just know that. Verse 14, his confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. Okay, that's in verse, again, 14. That's Christ with his elect. Okay, he would be the king of terror because he's bringing this evil, you know, onto the earth and cleaning it up, you know, getting rid of his left-hand side to prepare it for the kingdom. Verse 15, it shall dwell in his tabernacle because it is none of his brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation, fire and brimstone upon his habitation, which is this earth. Okay. Uh, verse 16, his root shall be dried up beneath and above shall his branch be cut off. Okay. Listen to this. Verse 17, his remembrance shall perish from the earth and he shall have no name in the streets. His remembrance shall perish from the, from the earth. And so that's uh, what God's going to do. Verse 18, he shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world. Verse 19, he shall neither have son nor nephew among his people, nor any remaining in his dwelling. And so this is God's left-hand side who are going to be destroyed and they're essentially going to be deleted. And so in the kingdom, did you, we're going to be like, who are you talking about? Oh, that, that deceiver, that liar, that actor, whatever. Like, I don't know who you're talking about. Because his remembrance shall perish from the earth and the kingdom's going to be on earth. And so this person will not be remembered. Okay. His remembrance shall perish from the earth. And this is what God is doing. And so he's destroying body and soul, according to Matthew 10, 28, which Christ is destroying those people here on earth because this, this is hell. Okay. So body and soul can be destroyed here on earth, which is hell. And so that's what's going to be the result of that destruction. His remembrance shall perish from the earth. Okay. Ne uh, he shall neither have son nor nephew among his people, nor any remaining in his dwellings. Okay. And so... Uh, Verse 21, uh, surely such are the dwellings of the wicked, and this is the place of him that knoweth not God. This is the place, earth. There's nobody in the spirit world who can forget God. Oh, you know what? Where, where's God? I'll just, you know, how do they, how can you forget God in the spirit world? Okay. Let me re uh, read verse 21. Uh, surely such are the dwellings of the wicked here, and this is the place of him that knoweth not God. Okay. And so this is talking about Christ returning with his elect and the angels to burn everybody on his left-hand side prior to the kingdom being established here on earth. And the important thing here is his remembrance shall perish from the earth. Okay. And so uh, thanks for the tip, you know, from the subscriber, a servant of Jesus, Job 18 reaffirms the sequence of the end times. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.